Commander, you're just in time. Hilo discovered a new lead in our search for the Order of Zildrog. My guys picked up a weird signal from an abandoned Imperial listening post on one of their runs. Seems it was meant for the Alliance. When decrypted, the signal broadcasts one word, Zildrog. The same as the message we intercepted from Theron. Someone is trying to lead us to the Order, I know it. If the message is linked to the one Theron sent, he could be using his place in the Order to help us. I admit it's possible. But even if that were true, we have no way of knowing his real motive. We need to get inside that listening post and gather whatever data we can. There's no telling what you'll find, so I'll come along to provide support. I'm ready when you are. Then let's get moving. Hilo, ready the shuttle. Automated self-destruct has been paused. Awaiting input. Someone is tampering with security to let us through. That might not last. We should hurry and find whatever information we can. two children on the spire fight over a discarded ration. I could do nothing to help them. Zakul was a golden empire, and now look at us. Digging through the ashes the Alliance left behind, so many families torn apart, fighting a war they never wanted. And for what? So the Outlander can lecture us about peace while we're left with nothing? Valkorion's death? Arkin's tyranny, Valen's path of destruction. It all began with the Outlander. I don't know what I can do, but I won't stand by and watch my people suffer. I need to take down the Alliance. For Zakul. Who is this man? According to the data, his name is Vin Atreus, former member of Valen's Horizon Guard. He was reported missing six months ago. Beyond that, no records. So this was the Order's base of operations. The original data was wiped, but the backup is intact. Whoever led us here knows how to make encrypted copies. When Emperor Arkan gave the order to bomb my homeworld, we didn't even have time to evacuate. Millions of people, my people, wiped out in an instant, all because Arkan wanted to send a message to the Alliance. And now, he sits beside the Commander as a friend? Where is my justice? I promise you, Arkan and the Commander will pay for their crimes. The Alliance will fall. But I need your help, Chilanes. You shall have it. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't. But the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone, even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. We spent weeks sweeping Odessa for bugs. And somehow they still had eyes on us. How is that possible? I know better than to trust a Sith Lord, Darth Mortis. The Alliance had the chance to seize control of the galaxy. Yet its commander wastes the throne's power on diplomacy. I'd rather see the Eternal Fleet destroyed than remain in the hands of a weak leader. 
That can't be your only reason for joining the Order. You must want something in return. All I ask is that when the time comes, you leave the traitor Lana Benico to me. Consider it done. You'll need my help. No one knows the Alliance better than one of its founders. You expect me to trust you? After you helped the Outlander forge a partnership with the Empire? In a single blow, you doubled their support and cut ours in half. I also led the Commander into that trap on Iocath. You wouldn't hear me out, so I took matters into my own hands. Look, you doubt my intentions. I get that. How can I convince you? Umbara. The Adegan Crystals. You got it. How did you find me? It wasn't difficult. Despite clumsy attempts to cover your trail, I was able to learn everything about you. I know how to awaken Zildrog, and where to find it. It's much closer than you think. You're lying. I searched the Gemini network. I have ascended beyond the Gemini network. I severed my connection to maintain my free will. I've attained knowledge an organic like yourself cannot comprehend. If you provide the right people, I can help you control Zildrog. What do you want in return? My sisters are shackled to the throne. I still feel them calling to me. You want them freed? No. I want them destroyed. As long as the Eternal Fleet and the Gemini Network exist, I remain vulnerable to outside control. Zildrog is the key to my freedom. I will not be enslaved again. Odessan isn't the only target. They're after the entire Alliance, everything we built. We haven't lost yet. We need to find the Order and stop them from awakening Zildrog. My scans show there's still one more active terminal. Let's hurry. I... I think I finally found it. After combing through all the data we took from Iocath, there was a string of numbers repeated over and over. When I decrypted them, the string spelled a word. Zildrog. I thought it was just a legend, but the Dragon God of Zakul is real, and it's a super weapon, capable of consuming entire civilizations. I, I don't know how to wake Zildrog or how to control it, but I'm one step closer. It's finally here. My chance to destroy the Alliance and avenge my people. But I can't do it alone. There's another machine god. If the Order awakens Zildrog and uses it on Odessan, Odessan is only the beginning. This weapon could devastate the galaxy. We're running out of time. Code recognized. Self-destruct will reactivate in 90 seconds. That's our cue to pick up the pace. Strange. New data was entered into this console just before we arrived. What does it say? It's a set of coordinates on Nathema. There's a message. They've found it. Hurry. Wait. I recognize this encryption method. We developed it together years ago on Rishi. Only two people know how to decrypt it. Me... and Theron. I never stop believing in Theron. This proves he's still on our side. Commander, I know you want to trust him, but... Self-destruct reactivated. All personnel advised to evacuate immediately. We'll discuss it later. Let's get out of here, before the whole station blows. It's on you now, Commander. You destroyed the data? Didn't leave a trace.
I received word from my team. They have repaired the hollow map from Capero. The data confirmed the Order's objective is Nathema. I can't believe it, but Theron's information was good. What's more, the coordinates we received from Theron pointed to a specific location on Nathema. It may be Zildrog's location, but we can't know for sure. I don't know what Theron has up his sleeve, and I don't need to. I'm choosing to trust him. It doesn't matter if we trust him or not. If we want to stop the Order, we need to act quickly. In any case, I'm coming with you to face those traitors. I won't let them take you from me. I dare them to try. Commander, there's something I need to say. Not so long ago, you placed your faith in me, in spite of my past. I was your enemy from the start, but Theron was your friend. He stood by your side through the worst of my attacks. Regardless of his intentions now, when the time comes, consider the same mercy you showed me. I know Lana has her doubts, but I never stopped believing in him. He's still on our side. I can feel it. I know better than anyone to trust your judgment. Now go. Save the Alliance. Feel the history here. Valkorion had so much left to accomplish. If he had his way, we'd all be dead. Valkorion made to cool the paradise until your alliance destroyed it. I know I wouldn't be here if I didn't want to help. Then don't forget your place. We've arrived. It calls out to us. It has slept for centuries, but knows the time to feed is approaching. Zildrob. Call the others. We'll begin soon. According to reports, the Force has returned to Nathema since Valkorion's death. The process has left the planet unstable and violent, so we'll need to be cautious. I've got the fleet rallied over Odessan in case we need to mobilize. Good luck, Commander. They recognize it. It's amazing to see what the Force can accomplish in such a short time. The coordinates are just ahead. Keep your guard up. This is where the coordinates pointed to, but where are we? Not Zildrog's location, evidently. Sorry. I needed to meet somewhere the Order wouldn't notice. I managed to give them the slip, but we don't have much time. They said I was crazy to trust you, but, but I knew you'd come back. I don't know how I could deserve your trust. I have a lot of explaining to do. I heard rumors about the Order of Zildrog through my old Underworld contacts. It took me months to even find them, and the whole time, they were watching us. By the time I learned the truth about Zildrog, it was almost too late. They learned too much. I had to slow them down long enough for the Alliance to catch up. I had to join them, work from the inside. The only way to get Ven Atreus to trust me was to betray you. It wasn't the only way. Why didn't you come to me? The Gemini droid was watching. I couldn't figure out how, but she was recording every word we said, telling you would risk the whole operation. I needed the betrayal to look real. You can't imagine how hard it was putting you through that. But I knew you were strong enough. I had faith in you. So you infiltrated the Order and learned their plans. What are we up against? They found Zildrog in one of the Emperor's vaults. 
Looks like Valkorion kept it on ice as a failsafe. The Order has nearly finished their final preparations once they activate Zildrog. It's the end of the Alliance. I see them. The Alliance has arrived. Already? How did they find us so quickly? Aaron Shan is among them. I warned you about him. <sighs> that deceitful scum! We'll have to begin ahead of schedule. Make sure the others are ready. Our new ally will take care of the Outlander. I stalled him with false data for as long as I could, but we don't have much time. If we act now, we can stop the order before they activate Sildrog. I set up blind spots so we can get through the vault mostly undetected. We're supposed to trust you after what you've put us through. How do we know you're not leading us straight into the Order's hands? I know you don't believe him, Lana. But I do. The least you can do is trust my judgment. I... I, I apologize. You know I'll follow you whatever you decide. Come on. We need to get moving. Stars. Look at that. Just don't look down. I know how you are with heights. I don't need your concern, Theron. Modern tech. I assume it belongs to the Order. Took nearly their entire base with them when they left. Had me destroy what remained. Lana, I know I'm not exactly on your good side right now, but... You should have told me your plans. We were supposed to be a team, Theron. You had to be in the dark. That's what you told me on Rishi, wasn't it? That's not... We can discuss this later. Focus on the mission. What was that? They started the ritual. We're running out of time. So, I finally gaze upon the face of the Jedi who killed my master, who stole my life's work from me. I was once the Emperor's favored servant, feared and respected across the galaxy. I had a life most Sith only dreamed of, until you wrenched it from my grasp. For that, you will pay. The Alliance didn't kill your Emperor. I did. Leave them out of this. No. They will mourn their commander before we turn them to ash. To thank you for coming, I've sent you a gift. I hope you enjoy it. I sense a tremendous amount of dark energy ahead. <sighs> Sildrog's waking up from his nap. This is it. Sildrog is just up ahead. Get ready for a fight. What is this? You! Been wanting to do that for ages. Organics fight so hard for their survival. But you are too late. The thrones have been filled. Zildrog is summoned. What happened to these people? They served a purpose they hadn't anticipated. Fuel for Zildrog's awakening. First, he will destroy the shackles that kept the enslaved to your kind. Then he will obliterate your pathetic alliance. As a reward to Atreus for playing his part. That machine can wipe out an entire planet without a weapon? I'm calling your bluff. What stands before us is only Zildrog's mind. I'll show you how little you understand. The time has finally come. Zildrog awakens. Now since I consumed this planet have I felt such hunger. Give me a target. Let me feed. Execute formation to 995. It is done. What 
was that? Uh, Commander, things okay over there? Because they're definitely not okay here. Zildrog was... How is this happening? Hilo, get everyone off Odessan. Launch as many shuttles as you can. That's a tall order, but I'll do my best. Gathering power! Incomplete. It appears I'll have to eliminate them less so. Destroy the power sources! Don't let Zildrog recharge! We need to shut Zildrog down before it has the chance to attack again. The tech involved shouldn't be too different from Tithe, so I think I can slice into it. Baron, no! Let you ruin my last chance at vengeance. Zildrog will destroy Odessin, and you'll finally know how it feels to lose everything. Your fight is with me, Atreus. No one else has to die. Did you give Zakul the same consideration? You took everything from us! It's time to end this! Zildrog, lend me your power! <laughs> But just barely. <laughs> Couldn't even do that right. It looks.
Looks like you've won again, Outlander. Like you always do. What are you waiting for? Strike the final blow. Be the hero yet again. You didn't just threaten the Alliance. You endangered the galaxy, including Sakul. Let your own people decide your fate. So be it. I have a team headed your way now. We'll make sure Zakul gets their prisoner. We don't have much time. Unless we get Theron to Odessa, he won't make it. Call a shuttle. We're taking Theron home. No Alliance casualties, minimal damage to Odessan, and we stopped an ancient machine from destroying half the galaxy. I'd say that's a win. Factions associated with members of the Order have offered their apologies. But the fact remains, the Fleet and the Gravestone, our two strongest weapons, are gone. The future of the Alliance is... uncertain. What happened on Nathema is proof that we need change. Odessan was nearly destroyed because of the Alliance. It's better we lay low for a while. A vacation wouldn't be so bad, would it? After this, I imagine the Empire and Republic will double down on their war efforts. We may need to consider who we'll support when the time comes. I hope you're comfortable working for the Republic. As long as they're comfortable with my interrogation tactics. I must admit, I like the idea of us just... being. Seeing you risk your life time and time again, Sometimes it was more than I could bear. I knew it was for the good of the galaxy, but... After this, everything is different. The galaxy is different. Perhaps now, we can... Settle down and spend the rest of our days in married bliss? I... What do you... Are you serious? If I were, what would you say? Y you need to ask me properly. Lana Benico, will you marry me? Of course I will, you ridiculous fool. <laughs> this isn't how I expected today would go. You know, it'll be nice to take a break from ruling the galaxy. Not like you've ever taken a break in your life. Theron! It's, uh... It's been a while since I was last in this room. It's good to be back. Look, I know I put you through hell. I was reckless and stupid and it almost cost us everything. I probably don't deserve the trust you showed me. But I did it to protect you and the Alliance. And... If you'll have me... I'll work hard to earn a place at your side. So... What do you say? Are we still a team? You risked your life for us. There's always a place for you here. <sighs> I don't know what I would have done if you'd said no. <laughs> I have a lot of making up to do, but I'm here to stay, no matter what. As am I. The Alliance may change, but we're not going anywhere. Everything is different now. But whatever the future holds for us, the three of us will face it. Together. <laughs>